Another leadership change is coming to the Rochester City School District. The departure of Superintendent Dr. Leslie Myers Small is imminent. Tell us anything about your, your discussions to leave the district. I have no comment at this time, Dan. Thank you. 13 WAM News has learned that the city school board is seeking to renegotiate, negotiate rather, an early end to the superintendent's contract. Good afternoon. I'm Doug Emblidge. And I'm Jenny Ryan. Dr. Meyer Small is the seventh superintendent to lead Rochester schools in the last 10 years. She has one year left in her three-year contract, but now appears unlikely she will be here when it ends. This really is where I want to be and I don't aspire to go anywhere else in the state or outside of the state. When she took over leadership of the city school district two years ago, there was hope Dr. Myers Small would end the revolving door of superintendents. She was number seven in just 10 years, but it now appears the school board could be seeking its eighth superintendent in now 12 years. Let's say we were not shocked that the Board of Education uh, took the position that they took. In November, the teachers union held a vote of no confidence on the superintendent's plan to address violence in schools. Dr. Myers Small also faced opposition to her plan to close and consolidate schools. Her proposed budget this year was rejected and she was accused of sexual harassment. An independent probe cleared her of the allegations, but a state investigation is ongoing. How would you evaluate her job performance? Good intentions, but little follow through. Uh, we could never be sure whether or not the meetings that we held uh, were productive or would result in, in any follow through. 13 WAM reached out to multiple school board members, but has not heard back. The district spokeswoman said she would not comment on this issue. Tell us anything about your, your discussions to leave the district. I have no comment at this time. That was Dr. Meyer Small leaving her office today, facing yet another challenge. This one may determine her own future. This news involving Dr. Myers Small comes as the district faces close to 300 departures of teachers between resignations and retirements. Urbanski says that is five times the normal attrition rate. He hopes a change in administration will happen before the start of this upcoming school year. Now to the scorching summer heat that is baking our region. We have team coverage tonight. We're going to begin with Dalton Williams and the Battle of Extremes for Rochester Firefighters this afternoon. Dalton. The fire that started this afternoon at a vacant building on Lyle Avenue was raised to a second alarm fire to bring in extra manpower for the fire crews already battling the flames and heat exhaustion. On days like this one, when the mercury hits 93 degrees but feels even hotter, working in the heat can not only be uncomfortable, but dangerous too. Especially if your job is fighting fires, like this one at a vacant building on Lyle Avenue. On top of the, the heat from the fire, the heat from outside, we're trying to find a place to, to cool down. You know what I mean? And it's, and it's very hard for us. Rochester Fire Captain David Abdosh says they prepare for weather like this. And that's and that's 100 percent what we do. We train nonstop. We're a 24 seven job. It doesn't matter what the weather condition is. We're always going to show up and we're going to do what we need to do. And that extra crews were brought in today to help battle the flames, allowing firefighters a chance to rest and cool off. We, we have it makes it hard for us because we have over 75 pounds of stuff that we're, hold, we're wearing on us while we're trying to put the fire out. We start with our rehab as we come out, we take everything off. We just drink water and we just help get our heart rate down and get back to zero, cool down. We go to, to uh, AMR, we get our vitals checked. And if we're at good levels, then we can start working again. Captain Avdosh says that the fire is now under control and that thankfully no civilians or firefighters were hurt. 